Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're back in the Champions League against Anderlecht. We're currently joint top alongside Milan, although Anderlecht are just a point behind us. So we really need to at least draw this game, but going for three points, try and get that top spot by ourselves. Of course, Milan are playing Midland, so you would expect them to get three points in their game. And in the last video, we had a 4-0 win in the Copa del Rey, so we've progressed in that competition too. And just looking at the team, it's pretty much a full-strength lineup. The only major change I've made to our traditional Additional starting 11 is Omaragic has come in place of Lovato who I'm giving a bit of a rest. So like I say back in the Champions League really need to, to get a win in this one, a draw at worst. Um, but yeah let's jump into the match. Now back in the Pez games of old I remember looting Anderlecht for many of the youngsters the likes of Company when I think he was 16. Vannenbaugh, who um, never quite transpired in real life to, to be the star he was in, in the actual Pairs games, but obviously company uh, certainly did. There's many others. Belgian football's got a very good youth set up, especially the likes of Anderlecht. Anyway, we want three points today. Want any nice ball into Castro. Oh, good save. What a foul. So just moving the microphone a little bit there. Got a chance of a free kick here. Now we have scored a couple of free kicks relatively recently. Getting a little bit better at it. And we have got Cousins able to take this. So it's just about getting the Trying to find the gap. Getting the right power. That looks about right. Oh. It's the post. Oh, so close. I uh, tried the same trick. Oh, it's another free kick. <laughs> it's another free kick. I don't think that one was, to be honest. But I'll take it. Cousins, another chance. Again. Oh. And it's in this time. What a free kick that is. Second time lucky. Perfectly placed. Cousins is so good on their sort of 20 yard mark. Beautiful. I'm certainly getting better at the free kicks. Now, I don't often get many chances from that area. And I think it's just... More recently, we've had a few more free kicks. So I've been able to practice a little bit more. Um, but very good start to the game. And a little bit of luck, I would say. I don't think that second foul was a bit harsh. I'll certainly take it for the amount of times that we get fouled and don't get a free kick. So, yeah, I've had a few days off in the game as well. Um, I've recorded quite a batch of them a while back and then I've been busy work and stuff so good to get back on it. Only a few days though. Um, looking forward to some games coming out soon. Diablo 4 which will probably already be out by the time you watch this or just about be out. I'm still playing Resident Evil 4. I'm on my third playthrough at the minute. I'm trying to get some more trophies. Final Fantasy 16. Potentially might be getting that. I'm not a massive Final Fantasy player. I think I played Final Fantasy XII and loved it. But since then I haven't really played any. But it looks really good. But I've just got too many games to play. Um, that's the trouble. I've still got lots in my back catalogue that I've never even tried or barely started. Anyway, here's Martinelli. Cousins. Castro, Diaby, who's been an absolute star this season so far. Here's Castro. Oh, very powerful shot. Well saved. Good hands by the keeper. Just going to have a quick drink of coffee here. Yeah, nice, strong hands. You expect him to save it, but... Oh, what a little finish that is. 
beautiful finish from Martinelli, I think it is. Lovely acrobatic finish. Nice ball in from Cousins. That's an assist and a goal for Cousins so far. He just teleported into view there. Well, good start. I was actually having to think about playing Skyrim again. A game that I've uh, played on and off for many years. I've still got to save. I'm not going to start fresh. I need to get this uh, clear. I did. Looks a bit like it should have been maybe a free kick against me, but... I'll take it. Getting a little bit of the rub of the green, I think, so far. In terms of the referee's decisions. Which is very strange. I'll probably live to regret saying that. Nice interception there. And... get the advantage. Okay, I'll take it, because we weren't in any sort of great position. Possession-wise, and I've got 66%, is that right? That can't be right. Sorry about the noise in the background there. Diaby, Castro, Emerson. Oh, keep I did well. Just got his fingertip on it. Just the tip. Um, nice header there. Not really sure he's got the pace to beat the defender. <sighs> Touch was a little bit lacking, but again, it's the AI that suddenly have a massive acceleration. Somehow, even with not quick players. Now here's Diaby. He is lightning quick. Oh, poor. That was poor from him. Could have easily beat the defender. Should have beat the defender. a pass yeah we're not quite flowing we've got two goals um, both from set pieces but in terms of overall play it's not quite flowing Son's been involved a lot. And here's DRB right on the stroke of hard time. And there it is, 3 0. Lovely finish from DRB. And it's what you expect from him. Castro, lovely ball around the corner. And there's only one thing in DRB's mind really well placed. And again, it was Cousins that started the attack, played it to Castro. Really nice ball around the corner, like I say. And just a very calm, slot away finish. That's just before half time. I think um, Antelax may feel a little bit hard done by in, in some ways. And just jumping straight back into the second half, but Antelax had 58% of possession. I'm going to sound like a broken record, I've said it many times, but um, possession doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. It's, it's all about context. You know, if you've had a lot of possession and you've used it well and you've dominated the team and you've scored goals, that's, that's one thing. But having possession in your own half, 
you know, Anderlecht didn't have one chance on goal. Um, they haven't looked a threat at all. We've, we've given the ball away a few times, but we've, you know, we've played risky passes and, you know, seven times out of ten it might not come off, but there was one, two, three times it does, um, you know, you score a goal. Yeah, getting a few free kicks in this game. That one was a was a foul for certain. Oof, that looks like a foul. Oh, nice play to Diaby. Nice turn. Oh, did I hit defender? It did. He's gone wide anyway. So we're kind of lucky to get a corner out of that. Now let's see what we can do with another set piece. Oh, ho, ho, ho. should have been four. That's a poor touch from Kusans, but we'll get the throw. Get a little bit of luck again. Abiera, haven't seen him much in the game so far. Here's Herrera. That deflected. We'll try and make some subs the next time the uh, the ball goes off. Whenever that'll be. Nice ball on the court to Martin. Ali, if you can get there. Oh, nice ball. Castro. Oh, should have scored. Really should have scored there. We'll make some subs now. Okay, so we'll bring on Kang In Lee for Martin Ali, but he's going to switch to the right. Bellarabi for Diaby. He's going to go on the left. And Gedson is going to come on for Fabio Vieira. Yeah, the wingers have had a good game. Fabio Vieira's been strangely absent. Which isn't like him. It's all been down the... The width really, or Cousin's in the middle. I mean, me personally, I think Cousin's been the play of the day. In fact, without doubt, he's been the play of the day. Nice tackle there. Kangen Lee, who's really impressed me since joining. Now Bellarabi, the uh, regen. Gets in. Herrera has a shot. Oh, to flex wide. Be another corner. Just wide, and I do apologise if you can hear banging there. Honestly, it's just one of those days. You know, go to record as soon as I start recording. There's loads of cars going past. <laughs> Neighbours are uh, decide to do some DIY. That's a free kick. I wouldn't say it's a yellow card. Gets in. Nice play there. Bellarabi, who's very quick, by the way. Nicely played to back it. Castro, ah, couldn't get the power on it. Maybe could have tried to take it down. I don't know if it was possible. Maybe chest it down. Got a bit of space. Nice tackle by Gedson. Back to Lee Kang in. 
Benarabi. Castro. Oh, good save. Castro's really uh, been a little bit unlucky today, I'd say. Keeper's made some good saves from his chances. Nicely kept in by Herrera. No, Castro's never going to get on the end of that. Especially with their uh, tired legs. Nicely played by Kosinu there. to Cousins. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he has got to be man of the match today. What a finish. Comes in here, Castro, then gets in. Nicely played, but he had all the work to do. He's shown strength. His legs are absolutely shattered. See him struggling. But uh, very nice finish. He's got to get uh, at least an 8 today. Well, maybe not an 8, maybe a 7.5. Been outstanding. He's ran the show, got the free kick, assist off the corner, got a goal from open play as well. And there it is, full time dominating performance. It's back to back 4 0s. Stat wise, as you can see, Anderlecht got just about the majority of the possession, but absolutely no threat in attack, and that's all that matters. We had 15 shots, with 9 being on target. Could have scored more. Their keeper, I would say, was certainly by far their best player. Yeah, looking at their ratings, how did they get 6s and 5s? I really don't know. Their goalkeeper was certainly their best player. Kusan's man of the match, without doubt. Kusan's very good. Vieira was a little bit absent, so I understand the six on that one. And uh, the front three doing excellent as well. And as you can see, Milan did actually beat Midlands. I think it was four goals to one. So they're top by our goal difference is higher. So I'm not quite sure why we're not top. It's a bit strange. Anyway, hopefully the next time we play Milan, we can beat them to get outright top spot. Main thing is, though, is just getting in the top two. We're now four points clear of Anderlecht. And that's it for today, guys. The next match is at home to Real Sociedad, back in the league. Hopefully, we can continue that streak going. We've won five in a row in the league itself. We're top of La Liga by two points. Real Madrid in second, Barcelona in third. So join me for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you then. Cheers.